Well, g'day everyone, this is just a very quick video of something I bought recently. Yes, should be everyone's dream to own a calibration standard, um, especially when you collect um, electricity meters. Now these, which are on each side, initially I thought, oh, it must be for a strap, and then I realised they're probably for a bonding to on ground or something. I might be wrong here, but I assume you could bond that to ground or something at a switchboard. Maybe I'm totally wrong, or maybe this is double insulated. It comes with um, a calibration certificate, which is very, very, very old. Um, yeah, so that gives you some pretty... That gives you some information. I'm not... I have a rough idea what some of it means. It's the error rate. It's um, how accurate it is. Um, it does not come with instructions, but it has, for one thing, a selector. Light in here is not very good. So excuse the video quality, but this is 120 here. Because this does 120, 60 hertz and 240 volt, 50 hertz. Um, so it has that there. I don't know if I can show that because the light's just... It's a bit crap. You can just see it. So, it's got the selector. Under this cap is actually a fuse, which I'm not going to bother to pull out. This is actually a reset lever for the display, which is quite a nice display. It does have a discoloured spot there, and it actually had a brown spot there, and I cleaned it off, and that was the result, but it hasn't touched the scale. The scale's intact, but it's taken the colour out for some reason. Which doesn't really matter. It, it's fine, you know. I love it the way it is. Anyway, um, I'm going to guess, because it's got a whole lot of numbers written here. It's got zero written there. Then it's got um, 50, um, 12.5, 5 and 1. Now I'm guessing, if I pull this out, um, see, I'm not sure. I mean, yeah, it's all sort of. You know, I'm not really sure whether it's amperage or what, but um, those correspond to what's written here. If I go to here, yeah, um, I think that's uh, yeah. See, fifty, twelve point five, five and one. So that's what's written there. So fifty. 50, 12.5, 5 and 1. So that's amperage. So I'm assuming that's a phantom load or, you know, a dummy load if you want to call it that. And these are just terminal lugs. If I unscrew one of them, um, all the way because it's not going to hurt. It's very nicely made, this thing. But these are just, like, you know, you could slip, like, a, a ring lug under there or a, um, a U lug under there, whatever you call it. Um, so what I'm guessing is that the electricity meter's um, potential coil gets hooked up to there. Now I'm guessing the potential coil connections are phase line in um, and neutral line to these. This is only a guess. I have not hooked this up and I, I'm trying to find out more information. Um, and I'm assuming the current coil gets hooked up to, depending on what you want the load to be. I'm assuming that this gets hooked up to phase line in and phase line out gets hooked up to one of these depending on which what you desire. I'm guessing. I don't know for sure because this is new stuff for me um, but I'm sure I'll be able to find instructions but if anyone's got any idea of how you would actually hook this up I'm all ears but it's very nice that it comes with such a very old piece of paper like yeah, I love it. 1980s. Um, one was done on the 9th of the 9th, 83. One was done on the 11th of the 7th, 85. So, yeah. I was not that old when it was calibrated. I was three months old when this was calibrated. So, yeah. How about that? Uh, but if anyone's got any information, I'd be really pleased to hear. Um, but I don't think it's going to be very hard to hook up because clearly voltage has to be hooked up to here because when you change this selector from 120 to 240 the resistance between these two terminals changes 
and clearly there's no way you'd be able to hook up um, see these are almost all a dead short so there are, this is the dummy load this is the um, current uh, potential coil I should say this is the reset for the um, register and this is the voltage selector um, if you hook it up in this position in the 120 volt position it's like 19 ohms and if you hook it up in the um, 240 volt position it's like 76 ohms okay I'm rounding up because I can't remember the exact reading on the meter multimeter that is but yeah um, there's also these um, designations RS and 3 between these two terminals and these two and somewhere it mentions that not on there but it does mention it um, somewhere I've read it somewhere here but anyway yeah, maybe it was online all right well thanks for watching um, you can absolutely expect future videos of this um, very nice aluminium case and like I said I'm assuming these are bonding points to bond it to ground unless it's double insulated and maybe these are just for straps I don't know but anyway